What's happening, everyone? And welcome on back to the channel. I appreciate you coming on through, stopping by, watching the video, even though you haven't watched it yet. Like you've just clicked on it and you're waiting for me to stop talking so we can listen to the music and you can see like my face and my thoughts. But let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to listen to the band Rhapsody. So I've definitely heard of them. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember if I've ever heard anything from them or not. I I'm not sure. Isn't there another band like that's named Rhapsody or something? Anyways. Uh, I was thinking of <laughs> I was thinking of genres and stuff that I haven't really explored a ton of, and I thought of power metal. So I literally just looked up power metal bands, found Rhapsody, saw that this was a, a popular song. So we're gonna listen to Emerald Sword. When I pull up the album, I see that this is the second track, and the first track is a minute and fourteen seconds, and it's probably like a little bit of an intro. So let's just take the two together. Let's just put them together there. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. This is off of their second album. Uh, entitled Symphony of Enchanted Land Lands, almost said Enchanted Lambs, but I'm feeling a bit sheepish, which was released in 1998. Hope you guys are here to stay for the music or here to stay for me. Let's go ahead and listen to it. We'll talk about it after. Hold on, I got an Amazon alert. I don't care about Prime Day. Let's go ahead and <laughs> let's go ahead and listen to it. We will talk about it after. We're gonna let both the songs lead into each other. Here we go. track off of Symphony X, uh, Paradise Lost. It's been a while since I've listened to Symphonic Metal. I'm enjoying this already. And now we're moving into Emerald Sword. That's a good transition. Come on. Calm down.
hits him. gets you. time with that <laughs> that that was so fun to listen to i've listened to power metal before it's not like i'm not familiar with the genre but it's been a very long time uh since i've listened to anything power metal symphonic metal like anything in that realm and i found this fresh i found this so fun to listen to like yeah it's still it's heavy it's fast it's thrusting right in your face but it's also doing it all with a smile. Like, it's just having a great time. The audience, come on. The audience is going to be singing that chorus. I'm going to be singing that chorus. Like, you're right in there. Like, that is so fun. And I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I know that power metal has that, that ooey gooey cheesy factor to it. Yeah, okay, let's talk about dragons and knights and princesses and sorcerers. So what? Have you heard of the Lord of the Rings? Like, come on, like, this is just so fun to listen to. I love how, it, this is to me, serious music, but not taking yourself so seriously. I love the symphonic element in here and how those strings just blister alongside with these mounted horsemen and warriors traveling down the field to fight whatever evil they're fighting, traveling across the land. The singing I thought was excellent, smooth, yet powerful, Forceful with a great tone for storytelling. That's going to be Fabio Leone. Great name uh, on the on the vocals there. Luca Torilli on guitars. His guitar is sensational. Like it's melodic. He's shredding, but it all fits so well in here. Uh, and then the intro, that first track, which I didn't even tell you guys the name of it. Epicus Fuhrer, which I imagine means epic fury, basically. Um, like, it's just a great setup, this great piece of symphonic work to kind of get your heart pumping, your feet racing before the, the gates are left open and you're out to battle. That, that is great. You know what? Didn't, like, in, in ancient armies, like, there was always, like, someone playing a, a horn or, like, a little drummer boy marching the army along? If they played uh, some rhapsody or something a little bit more, with more like, <clears throat> maybe more battles on whatever side would have been winning. Can you imagine? <laughs> And obviously the drumming uh, by Danielle Carbonara. Because <laughs> the chorus is... And I'm trying to... <clears throat> Just really... I had a great time listening to this. This was so fun. I crossed the valleys, the dust of Midlands, to search for the third key to open the gates. Now I'm near the altar, the secret inside, as legend told my beloved son, light the dragon's eyes. On the way to the glory, I'll honor my sword to serve right ideals and justice for all. Finally happened, the sun hit their eyes, the spell was creating strange games of light. Thanks to hidden mirrors, I found my lost way over the stones. I reached the place, it was a secret cave. In a long bloody battle that prophecies told, the light will prevail, hence wisdom is gold. They're looking for the sword, yeah? For the king, for the land, for the mountains, for the green valleys where dragons fly, for the glory, the power to win the black lord, I will search for the emerald sword. We're searching for this emerald sword, and I'm sure to defeat some sort of ancient evil, you know? I mean, this is just so fun to listen to. Did you guys enjoy this? I imagine it's probably like 
70-30. I don't know which way. Let me know what you guys thought of it, though, in the comments down below. You can follow me over on Twitter, support the channel, on Patreon. Um, thank you for being here. Like the video before I leave. Subscribe if you want. That's it. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>